はい。In the book of Zechariah, chapter 6, verse 7, there's a verse that says, When, well, let me read you, start from chapter 6. A man named Zechariah in ancient Israel in about 519 BC, he was having a vision, and God was using him to speak to the nation of Israel. And it's in the Bible here. <clears throat> he says, I looked up again, because this is his、uh, last vision, last of eight, or I actually count about 11 visions, but. There before me, I looked up again, and there before me were four chariots coming out from between two mountains, mountains of bronze. This is the NIV translation. The first chariot had red horses, the second black, the third white, and the fourth dappled, all of them powerful. I asked the angel who was speaking to me, What are these, my lord? The angel answered me, These are the four spirits of heaven going out from standing in the presence of the Lord of the whole world. The one with the black horses is going toward the north country, the one with the white horses toward the west, the one with dappled horses towards the south. Now, now here's, here's a phrase that I,、uh, I knew that was a translation issue because it didn't make sense. It goes on to say in chapter 6, verse 7 When the powerful horses went out, they were straining to go throughout the earth. And he said, Go throughout the earth. I think he's referring to the angel. So they, the horses, went throughout the earth. Then he called me and said, Look. Those going toward the north country have given my spirit rest in the land of the north. Now,、uh, the phrase doesn't make sense. In chapter 6, verse 7, when the powerful horses went out, they were straining to go throughout the earth. And he said, the angel said, Go throughout the earth. And so the horses went throughout the earth. Um, Why were they straining? It doesn't say.、Um, so I went and I looked back up the Hebrew, and the word actually means、uh, that they were eager to go throughout the earth. And so he said, so the angel said, Go throughout the earth and report what you find. It happened again in Zechariah chapter 1, where there were different colored horses, and they go throughout the earth, and they're messengers. They're essentially angels. That's what angels do, they're messengers. And they go throughout the earth and they come back and they bring a report to the Lord. Now, typically there's four of them. Now, four, the number four in apocalyptic literature represents the number of the created world north, south, east, west. We build everything that we have to this day. All of our buildings are typically built with four sides because it's the number that represents physical creation. So, God is using four as a symbol to say he sent messengers to cover up throughout the whole earth. It doesn't necessarily mean that they were exactly four, and it doesn't necessarily mean that those were the exact,、uh, he only used four different colored horses. It just meant that there are different types of messengers. But horses were very powerful,、um, and they, they were. I almost assume they're ready for war. But, but anyway, I look it up and it means that they were eager, or another translation is that they were surveying out the area that they would go throughout the earth. And when it says the horses, it pretty much meant the riders,、um, riders as well. And so, how do you apply that verse in person? Well, God works in heaven. In a much better way than he works down here on earth because we're flawed. But the point is, is that if God, have you ever had a desire to do something and you wanted it really badly, but God has still not given you that desire? Well, part of the reason possibly could be because he waits until you are completely ripe. 
and you're completely ready and and you have all everything aligned and all your ducks in a row so that you can accomplish the task and it's okay to wait on the lord with great eagerness the horses and the vision did that the angels which i believe were actual literal angels this isn't completely symbolic in that it had nothing to do with the events of heaven there are real angels that really exist up in heaven and they ride horses and they travel around and they do things uh, for the Lord as messengers of the Lord. These are real, actual, literal beings in the spirit world, in God's spiritual world up in heaven. And so this isn't just pure symbolism, although a lot of people take it as pure symbolism, but they're actual, literal things, beings up in heaven. They have wits, they have heights in the spirit world, they have a tangible skin on them in the spirit world. The Apostle Paul in the New Testament talks about having a spiritual body, a, a, a immeasurable hand, you know, and a body um, up in heaven. And so the point is, is that the same thing happens heaven is down here on earth. It's okay to get excited and to get ready. Another reason that God doesn't give you what you want right away is because perhaps you should continue planning out every detail of your course of action so that when he says go and do the thing that God has called you to do, you're completely ready. And it's okay to ache and to want in your heart something so badly that has not happened yet. It's very godly to wait on the Lord and it builds a lot of maturity. So if you're waiting on something that God hasn't yet given you, don't give up. Because it happens in heaven, it happens to all of us. Much love. That was Zechariah chapter 6 verse 7.